So where are we? Mom, nice day square. Thank you. <laughs> There's a view of the city. Wow. artists and shops and we have the opportunity to go into a visit. Oh my word, that's a person. Like the Spanish steps where they just pop. We had the opportunity to eat a Madeleine prior to disembarking our coach so that we could put a pep in our step, as Daisy would say. Thank you, thank you. Watch your step. No problem. We're going to send that into Trafalgar and let's see, check out Sam. He's doing a great job. Yeah. Yeah, if you, also if you can manage to turn around, you have the whole city at your feet. This is, like I said, I think by any record, a proper deal. Mm -hmm. A man named St. Dennis. St. Dennis is one of the patron saints of Paris. And he came to uh, the city of the second. Did you see that? No. But it was a Roman city at the time. The Romans did not care for the Christians, so they decapitated him. And they decapitated him out there at Notre Dame Cathedral. But the news is not all bad. He apparently picked up his own severed head and walked about eight miles up to the top of this hill, where he finally collapsed and fit a bubble of exhaustion, <laughs> holding his head under his hand as he went. And that's why they named the hill Mount of the Martyrs, named for St. Dennis. And so that's why this church is built here. The hill on the spot where St. Dennis allegedly collapsed and his fit of well-deserved exhaustion. <laughs> But this church is slightly more modern than the second century. This is the Sacred Heart Basilica, the Basilique du Sacré-Cœur, and it's the largest church in Paris. It was built between 1875 and 1914. And it's built right on top of the hill, looking out over the entire city. And it's one of the more unique looking churches that we have in Paris, let alone in France. And that's because of the style of architecture. It's a mixture of architectural styles. You have the Romanesque element. But it's also Neo-Byzantine styles. You can see these domes, these octagonally shaped bell towers, and things like that. Here at the front, you have two different statues. On the left, you have St. Louis holding the crown of thorns in his hands with the sword pointing to the earth. And on the other side, you have Joan of Arc, sword pointing to the sky. And those are two of the patron saints of France. St. Louis brought the crown of thorns back to France in 1238. He'd been out on the crusade with the Venetians and the Romans. And he spent seven times France's annual gross domestic product bringing back relics to France. Each one more improbable than the next. Not only did he bring back the crown of thorns, he brought back two pieces of the cross, one of the nails from the crucifixion, the head of John the Baptist, the spear that pierced the sword of Christ, a vial containing the blood of Christ, the sponge that was used to give Christ vinegar as he was on the cross, and, amongst other things, a vial containing breast milk of the Virgin. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he believed it very much in any case. And so uh, we have the Crown of Thorns in Notre Dame Cathedral. We'll hear about that in a few days. I'll tell you what, did you, let's walk around the side of the church. What if we bought any bridges? Let's see. 